Okay guys, the last part of the Life Size Master Chief is figuring out what I'm gonna do for the visor. I tried a lot of different things, but this is what I ended up settling on. We used a reflective gold vinyl wrap, and here is how I installed it on the helmet. So unfortunately, I lost footage for parts of this process, but I'll start you at the beginning. The vinyl wrap itself has three layers to it. It has a sticky backing side, the vinyl itself, and then a top covering. You'll remove the backside first, that is going to make the vinyl sticky, and then we'll remove the top clear coat covering, that makes the vinyl kind of malleable. But the first thing we're gonna do is use a product called Rapid Tack. We're gonna spray down the visor a little bit, dampen it up. This is gonna help the vinyl bond to the visor and the helmet, and also help the vinyl move around a little bit until we squeegee out that water. I just dampened it on with the paper towel so it wasn't dripping and running, but there was still a decent amount on there. Now my technique and strategy for this was to hit the raised edges of the visor first, like those parts on the side and those two little lines that cross over the face. Those are the parts I wanted to smooth out and get situated first so that I could then focus on and smooth out the lower layers, like that big center portion, and then those two areas on top. I would recommend getting some vinyl smoothing tools. They helped out a lot compared to using my finger the first time. First time didn't go so well and I had a lot of lines in the vinyl and overlaps, but the second time I took my time, I used a heat gun to kind of expand and melt the vinyl a little bit. You want to be sure not to melt it too much on this gold or else the gold will start to dull. And the vinyl itself is very thin. You could melt a hole in it pretty quickly if you wanted to. So just use the heat gun to warm it up and to make it more malleable to spread into the corners and to prevent any overlaps or lines in the vinyl. You're going to want a smooth surface underneath the vinyl. It doesn't have to be super smooth or anything, but it definitely helps. You don't want any bumps or little defects areas to show up through the vinyl because they will. We want it to be a smooth and uniform surface. Like I said earlier though, this took a few attempts and about one and a half rolls of the vinyl wrap just because I kept messing up. So if you're new at vinyl wrapping, I'd recommend getting at least two rolls of the stuff as well, as well as just a few tools to help out. So once the vinyl was on there, I had to trim away the excess. I had a little straight edge blade that came with the vinyl tool set, so I just trimmed away the edges. I had a little bit of the gray primer peeking out from behind around some edges. I cut it a little bit too far, but I'll just go back with some black acrylic paint and touch those up so that it's a nice clean transition from black to the golden visor. A little bit of a shorter video today, but this is the last step of the Life Size Master Chief before we are ready to put it all together. I'm going to save that for another video, but it won't be far behind, and we'll be able to enjoy the Master Chief in all its glory together. So thank you for watching. I'll see you real soon.